Hey everybody, I'm going to take you on a treacherous trip I had the other day. This ice and windstorm, you see I have a tree down and a bush is flat by my door there. <laughs> this was Friday about 5 p.m. Starting out is alright, wasn't much snow. It was wind, the wind was between 40 and 60 miles an hour. But I had to get to work. I left an hour early takes 30 minutes to get there. I'm going to take you on my trip. Show you the highlights and lowlights of this terrible, treacherous, dangerous traffic condition I had. Still going good. Oh, by the way, my power was out at home, so I had to stop here and get some coffee. And I figured I'd fill it up with gas while I'm there. Get a little extra weight in the truck. It gets worse. I mean, it gets better. Hang on. <laughs> they had no power earlier either, but they told me it just came on. And some people I know, a week later, well, it's uh, three days now, and still have no power. Look at the wind blowing that coffee sign. Ooh. It was terrible to wake up to no power and then have to go to work and deal with this. Well, the roads don't look bad, do they? Ah, I got a four-wheel drive ram. I don't get stuck anywhere, remember? Well, stay tuned. Here we go. Uh oh see some flashing lights up there. That's where I'm going. Oh, it's on the other side. Good. Here we go. I don't know what's going on there. Two ambulances or something? Let's merge onto the highway. We're in Pennsylvania right now. Headed towards New Jersey. Everything's good. Uh oh. More blinking lights. What's this? Big snow plow? Plowing nothing? That's okay. Looks good. Yeah, plows up. Okay. Continue. I'll get there on time. It's just wet. That's all. Crossing the bridge to New Jersey right now. The Delaware River. Below. This is my dash cam and I had no audio. Oh, I have audio, but it doesn't play on the software for some reason. So I just cut this up and showed you the best and worst of my trip. This corner is usually real slippery, even when it's damp. We spun out a few times here, just going around the corner. Especially the truck is light in the back. All right, got a little more snow blowing around here. Look at that street light. Wow, you see that? See that green light? Go back and watch that again. That was scary going under there. <laughs> Don't want that thing dropping down on you. Slowing down. What's going on? Alright. Come on. Don't panic. Just drive. It gets funner, believe me. Stay tuned. Oh, look at them poles bent over. That don't look normal. Anyway, that didn't bother me. I see up here now. Oh, he's okay. He's going the other way. Come on. Now what? I see there's a tree down there. I don't know if you can see it, but I saw it. He'll see it. Yeah, people are starting to turn around. Ugh. I should have stayed home, huh? I got no power at home. What am I going to do? I 
Come on. How bad can it be? Somebody else turned around. Yep. Aren't you glad you don't have to drive in this weather? <laughs> or maybe you did, or maybe it was worse for you. Or maybe you live somewhere where there's never weather like this. Where is that? I don't want to go there. What are you doing up there? Moving? Turn around or what? Let me get up a little closer. Oh, I see some people out there. Yeah, moving branches. I don't know if you can see them, can you? Where that truck moves. Oh. At this point, I probably should have turned around and went home. But I had no idea what waited ahead of me. Hey, yeah, there's people up there moving branches out of the way. And then I saw a guy open his trunk. I don't know if you can see that on this right here, but the guy up in front opened his trunk and whipped out a chainsaw. <laughs> you never think of carrying around a chainsaw, do you? But I was glad he did. And he cleared one side of the road here. You'll see it in a minute. See, everybody's getting out. Throwing branches. I would have went up there and helped, but I figured by the time I got up there, it would be clear. <laughs> Plus, it was cold and windy. It was only like 34 degrees. I mean, it wasn't below freezing, but the wind blowing and the ice. It was terrible. Can you see them up there? I'm still going to make it on time. Oh, good. Coming through. Thank you. Alright. If that's my only problem, I'm good. Here we go. Where do you see this mess? Oh boy. <laughs> Got through that one. On the road again. All smooth. Just take your time. Don't panic. Slowing down. I see flashing lights way up there. Oh yeah. Now what? Oh. See a bucket truck there? Don't touch that wire! Alright. Yeah, careful, careful. More up ahead. Oh boy. Now what? Hmm. Let us go by. Come on. Oh, they're telling people what to do up ahead here. Again, I should have turned around right now. There's a fireman. You gonna tell me what to do? Tell me something good. Okay. Thank you. What's up? Hey, make a left up there after that truck. It'll take you up and around this mess, all right? Go up Montana Mountain. Okay, thank you. Now, I've been driving this road for over 20 years, and I don't know none of these side shortcuts or, or Montana Mountain Road or anything, but I'm going up. Follow them guys, he says. 
Uh oh, there's a road cone. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> Here we go. I'm lost. How bad can this be? All them people. See, not much snow. Snow's not a problem. Oh, the branches bending down there. Take your time. Oh, there's a tree down. Slowing down. What's going on now? Oh, see that branch? See that tree across the road? They're going right under it. My truck is pretty big. So, see the wire there on the left, too? Oh, boy, the wire's holding the tree up. So I stop, and believe me, I have one inch above my truck. I removed my CB antenna right here. And I'm standing on my running board with the truck in gear, going through real slow, making sure not to scrape my roof. <laughs> okay, I made it through. Put my antenna back up with a magnet. I don't believe that. Now I don't think I can turn around. There we go. Man, that was, I believe, believe me, that was one inch above my roof. All right. I'm so lost. I'm in the woods here, ain't I? <laughs> it is getting skinnier. Oh. I found somebody the other way. That's a good sign. Where's everybody else? I'm supposed to follow them people. Oh. Now we're deep in it. Deep in the thick of the woods. Woods. There they are. You like watching this? <laughs> Aren't you glad you're sitting home nice and warm? getting stuck up there or what slow and steady we'll make it all right continue oh now look more, more, more. Make it right. Okay. I'm lost. I told you. I'm following them guys. Like the fireman said. Take you all around this mess. Okay. Road isn't bad. Look at the blowing snow, though. It was really whipping. I can't wait for spring. Although they say we're going to get another storm on Wednesday. And then another one after that. And spring is like 12 days away or so. I just can't stand this weather. I want to move. I really do. I don't know where though. Any suggestions? We don't have none of this. No tropical storms. No power outages. Does that place exist? Man, this is like a snow desert now. Oh, looks like somebody's having a problem up there. Yes, someone's stuck. All right. 
right, what are we going to do? Again, I would get out and walk all the way up there and help, but I figure by the time I get there, they might be clear. How do you know, right? Oh, it gets better. Stay tuned. I know it might be a little boring now. Maybe not. stuck in that little, I don't know what kind of car that is up there. Are we moving? They pushed, yeah, they didn't push much. I don't know what the problem was. Look at that snow. All right, come on, get back in your car, let's go. I'm still good, I'm still gonna make it. This truck don't get stuck nowhere, remember? Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. I get stuck at the end. <laughs> mm. It's hard to see up there too. Blowing. And we're stopping. Don't know why yet. Let me look around this guy. What do I see up there? I don't see anything up there. Pull out a little bit. Me? Come on. What do I see? Uh, something up there. Alright. Yeah, they're getting out of their cars. Oh boy. Hmm. I believe at this point I called where I work and told them I might be late if I make it at all because here they come. Tell us what to do now. What's going on up there? They're stuck! Oh, okay. Tell me. I got an ice scraper in his hand. I don't know this guy. They're stuck pretty good up there. Okay. Hey, wait, is this my buddy? Hey, this is my buddy Phil from work. Yeah, he's going there too. What's up, Phil? Ah, I'm stuck pretty bad up there. Bottomed out. You got a shovel? Yeah, I got a shovel. I got a shovel in my truck. All right. Gonna save the day with a shovel. I'm glad I carry it. Let's see what happens. Let me get up closer. See, like I said, I can go around. I don't get stuck in four-wheel drive. Sorry, people. I'm just going up to shed some light on the subject up here. Yeah, he's pretty far up there. I didn't want to walk up that far anyway. Oh, man. He has a new Mercedes. All-wheel drive. See it, but it drifted so high it was stuck under us, up 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 to his floorboards, you know, so he couldn't get no traction. So we shoveled a little bit here. That's me with the pointy head. And we're gonna push a little bit, and if he gets free, because up ahead it doesn't look like such a deep drift. If we can get through this drift, he might be all right. I don't know about the people behind us though too. Somebody was trying to turn around, they got stuck back there. There's like six cars all together. Oh boy. The guy still has an ice scraper on the left. <laughs> That's alright. He was trying. Come on, let's start pushing. Try that, Phil. When I'm standing up there, I see all four of his wheels spinning, all wheel drive. 
Usually they don't get stuck. But it was bad today. All right, let's push. Get him out. Heave. It was so cold and windy and hard. The ice on your face. 60 mile an hour wind. Man. Dig it out some more. I don't know if I'll have time at the end to tell you who saved us, but there was two farm guys. A young guy came up on a big John Deere tractor and plowed out in front of Phil and plowed out behind him, and we were able to push him onto the blacktop then. <clears throat> but as you'll see, I got stuck. You didn't see that yet, but he called his friend. His friend came up on a backhoe and put a strap on my hitch and pulled me right out of there. You know, country folk are good people, that's for sure. They were happy to help. We called the state police. The lady at the house right there on the right with no power said she called 911. They didn't come. A cop came way at the end after the guys got us out with their tractors. They were so nice. I wanted to give them some money, but it was so quick. It all happened so quick. They, they were just, no problem. Glad to help, they said. We need more people like that. You know, who wants to go out in this just to help six strangers on the road? <laughs> I'm telling you that now because at the end, it happens quick and I unhooked my camera. But we're not having any luck pushing this nice Mercedes. So, I had a great idea. You know what my idea was? I'll tell you. I have this big nylon rope in my trunk, or in my back of my truck, and right now they're hooking a, a hook to his car. The Mercedes has a spot where you can screw in a hook for such emergencies. And I was going to turn around here and put my hitch back into his car and pull him out with the rope. Just pull him off of that drift. Because like I say, I don't get stuck anywhere. So I get in my truck, attempt to make a K-turn here, and back up to pull him out. And I go over a hump in this field here, which I didn't know was there because it was all drift. And I'm stuck. And I'm stuck. Four wheel low, four wheel high, rocking back and forth. I hope it didn't do no damage to my transmission. There I am, trying to shovel. Now at this point, it's all mud. Four wheels are in mud, just spinning. I wasn't going anywhere. Then the guys came with the big John Deere and he didn't have enough traction to get me out either. So the guy with the little backhoe got me out. He had steel tracks on that. So nice. I was so glad. And soon you'll see, well, I'm still sitting there. We sat there for over an hour and a half. Me and Phil sitting there talking, drinking coffee wondering what to do and I was a lot calmer because he was there if I was alone I would have been a nervous wreck probably but he kept me calm just waiting what are we gonna do you know it was terrible and pretty soon you'll see my camera was off for a while and I plugged it back in when we got free and I drove down the road and I got to work and I would have called off of work if Phil wasn't there <laughs> And he happens to be my supervisor too. Here I'm free. Cops are here. We're driving away. Terrible night. Made it to work. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope your driving's a lot better than this. I really don't like it. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day.